Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna be talking about bald cypress trees, why, what they're good for, why we should have them on our landscape and so much more. I'm gonna be joined by MDC's Ann Koenig and she's gonna tell us all we need to know about bald cypress. Let me turn this around and we'll chat with Ann. All right, Ann, so we're talking bald cypress trees. So why are bald cypress trees so important for the landscape? Oh, they're great for landowners because just like this habitat area, a lot of people like to plant them right around water. It's not that they need water. It's actually growing around water is very difficult for plants because they don't get any oxygen to their roots. It's super saturated. So bald cypress can tolerate water. You can actually get them right up to the edge of the bank. And again, we're helping so much with erosion when you get these plants, native plants and native trees right up to the edge of your um, water whether mm -hmm. it's a lake or a stream some people will remember if they've seen the knees that grow up on bald cypress so the roots actually kind of come out of the ground and form these what we call knees they can be very small or larger okay. they're just really interesting you'll have a lot of frogs using that area you'll have ducks coming swimming in and around that area um, the again this is a native tree something two things super unique about bald cypress these uh, needles, I mean, it looks like an evergreen, right? Oh, yeah. It is not. They lose their needles, unlike pines, they lose all their needles in the winter and then grow them back in the spring, just like other what we call deciduous trees like maples and, mm -hmm. and oaks. They just don't look like that. So we get a lot of calls in the fall about, oh my gosh, my, my pine has died and lost all its needles. It's actually, it's okay. It's just a bald cypress and that's what it does. The other thing that's so cool about these trees is, can you see these, this? Oh yeah. Those are its cones, though. So the seeds are in there for the next offspring, and the cones get bigger. They get about the size of oh, smaller than a golf ball, and they float. So when they fall out of the tree, they fall into the water, and then float away, hit the bank somewhere else, and then sprout out right along the bank. So you'll have native trees coming up on your property, elsewhere on your lake if you get these growing. So they'll naturally regenerate and produce more and more um, bald cypress. Awesome, that's really cool. Where can we learn more about bald cypress? You can learn more about bald cypress and all Missouri native trees at our MDC website. You can also order these seedlings if you'd like from our Georgia White State Nursery, which is your conservation department's nursery where you can order most native trees. All right, thank you very much, Anna, I appreciate it.